This is the best part of my job right here, getting to test ride these absolutely stunning classics. I rode this a couple times last week, and it's been a long time since I rode one this nice. Uh, I did ride Armin's, and it was very impressive, but nothing like a fresh one with 6,000 miles. And uh, the thing that occurred to me when I, when I got on the bike was just how good the bikes were in 1983. I mean, I was a junior in high school when this bike uh, came out, and a good friend of mine, Scott Schroyer, bought one. And then my, uh, my older brother, Ray, ended up buying it from him. Uh, my friend Scott Pierce had one, so uh, and Walt Ash had one. They uh, they were super popular, and uh, ironically, um, the ones that we had all got totaled. The one that uh, my buddy Scott Pierce had, yeah, he actually wrecked his knee on it, and uh, the one Scott had got had uh, gotten racked up too. So they fixed them up. I'm not sure if Scott's was repairable, but they fixed them up and rode them. But the point I'm making is, there's very few of these left in original mint condition like this. Everything works beautifully electronically, the horn, the turn signals, the uh, indicators on the gauges, the tank fuel gauge, the um, digital clock it has on it, which is really nice, the, tach the tachometer, speedometer, odometer, and trip meter. Everything's just like brand new on this bike. Just an awesome sound. Great, great sound and great running bike. Handles beautifully with the new tires on here. Very smooth. One of the things the Seca was known for was being one of the smoother running motors. Um, of that of that era they, they said it was the smoothest four-cylinder in, in its class and the brakes work awesome great things about the 900 is the seating position is nice and upright this is a bike you can ride all day long at, at 55 years old if you have a bad back or um, or uh, basically take it anywhere you want take it cross country um, around the block wherever you're going it's got the comfort and speed to get you there in style. And this one's been thoroughly sorted out. Everything's been gone through on it. Well, this is a new home for the next 36 years. Gonna put it back in the museum on display where you can leave it or you can pick it up and take it home. Either way, it's a rock solid investment. Investment quality machine.
Brent Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. And this may need no introduction, but I'll give it one. This is probably the world's finest original Yamaha XJ900 Seika. This is an extremely rare one-year model, and I have full provenance on this bike. The, uh, it has a really cool story behind it, which I'll, I'll tell you. Um, the, uh, the bike was owned by the same guy since it was brand new. He bought it in 1983. He bought it when he was 33 years old. He's 69 years old now. And um, at the point where he felt he was going to phase out of riding motorcycles, so he sold us the bike. This has 6,750 original miles. I'm, I'm an AMCA Antique Motorcycle Club of America judge. I'm also an ambassador for the MCA and I own the New England Motorcycle Museum, so I know a little bit about vintage motorcycles. I'm going to give this bike a 99 out of 100 points for originality. The only item I could find on it that wasn't original uh, is the uh, grips. They're an upgrade from the original grips. So other than that, the bike is 100% uh, original um, in the tires, but those don't really count. Obviously, you wouldn't want to ride a motorcycle with 36-year-old tires on it, but um, this bike came to us with the original tires on it and they still had 70% of the tread left, but they're really hard because they're that old and uh, had a little bit of checking on the side of them. So the, the pipes on the bike are absolutely beautiful, original pipes, and this bike runs like brand new. I have a um, complete work order of everything that was done to it. I'll go over with you, but uh, let's go focus on the bike itself. It's, it's the original Yamaha racing red color with the silver and black. It's just beautiful, it shines like brand new, the upholstery on the seat's beautiful. It's a 900cc, four cylinder, double overhead cam engine with shaft drive. This bike will do over 135 miles an hour, uh, about 113 in the quarter mile, a little bit over 11 and a half second quarter mile uh, time, so it's extremely fast. And it's set up to handle beautifully. It has the original factory Yamaha uh, gas shocks, which have adjustments for the preload and the, the uh, dampening. Speak up as much as you can, just we yeah. got wind going on. Yeah, so. yeah. sorry about the poor uh, sound quality, guys. It also has um, air adjustable front forks with anti-dive suspension. This was the best suspension you could get of this era. It has a 37 millimeter forks with an integrated fork brace. Uh, triple disc brakes, has two in the front, one in the rear, and it's just been completely gone through. So I'm gonna bring it on a test ride for you, but before I do that, I'm gonna bring it inside and go over the work order with you. So come on inside. Now we dynoed the bike, ran just under 75 horsepower and just under 50 pounds of torque. The original owner was getting up there in years and hadn't ridden the bike. What's up, Jeff? What's up? He hasn't ridden the, the bike in... How long has the bike been sitting, Ken? Before we completely recommissioned it? Several years. He, he hadn't ridden it much in the last few years. We decided he would find a new home for it. He didn't think he was going to start riding much again. Uh, can you take it off the stand and listen to the rear exhaust note on it before I break up uh, paper and on him to get a good sound of what the... These have a unique sound of stock exhaust. Has like a, uh, it doesn't have a, a, a raspy sound, it has a nice smooth uh, mechanical sound, it's, it's just beautiful. The engine, the valve train is virtually silent and uh, it runs like a brand new motorcycle because essentially it is with only 6,000 miles on it, it's like a time capsule. This is the most documented pre-owned uh, Seika we've ever had. It has not only the factory genuine Yamaha service manual that he bought with it brand new but also the owner's manual. And he also has the original purchase certificate pink slip from the dealership. It was $3,250 with a, um, a uh, uh, plus taxes, freight, and everything else. The actual original pink slip. He's got the original 1983 title. You can see uh, May of 1983. One owner bike. 
yeah, I own it. It's brand new. The um, the uh, envelope here has all of the previous registrations in it. This is like everything that we're looking for um, when we find these classics. One owner, one owner. Okay. Do you have the original title document? Yes. Original purchase ticket. How about the original sales literature? And um, the registration. Read it. Okay. <coughs> now period. Period. This is a, sales literature. Actually, this is the, the actual brochure the Yamaha dealer gave him when he bought the motorcycle. <coughs> I think he carried it around in his wallet for a while. It's been folded over, uh, but um, bike weighs 483 pounds, has a 5.8 gallon gas tank. It gets 54 miles to get to the gallon, which is awesome. Uh, it's like free transportation, five-speed transmission that's vir virtually maintenance-free with a shaft drive on it. So the fairing is actually very functional. It uh, pushes pushes the wind up and over your body. He also has the uh, actual Cycle World Road Test from 1983, which is pretty cool. I read this whole article earlier um, to brush up on my facts on the bike. But uh, the engine was originally derived from the, the Seika 750. It's got a bigger bore uh, to this one. The Seika 900 engine was, was based off the 750. So, and here's the actual dyno report. Uh, we tested it on the dyno. It pulled 74.73 rear wheel horsepower with 48 foot pound of torque. So exactly as it, as it should brand new and um, I have the whole work order here I'll go over with you uh, to show you how uh, we just invested over uh, over three thousand dollars into the bike so um, we started with the gas tank the gas tank was removed after it was thoroughly cleaned and detailed and washed and waxed we removed it from the motorcycle and cleaned it with a rust and then did a new tank liner kit inside of it to uh, line the uh, tank which is all fresh Oh yeah, so we took the carburetors off, completely dismantled them, cleaned them, and synchronized them, tuned them. Uh, the tank, again, was flushed and lined. The um, fuel, entire fuel system was gone through on the bike. The fork seals on the front here were replaced. It looks good, new, new fork seals on it, and the fork fluid was changed. The front brake pads are brand new. Uh, we, we cleaned the front and rear brake calipers. And the rear master cylinder, we actually rebuilt the rear master cylinder. This works like brand new. Where is the rear master cylinder on the bike? It's hidden. Uh, yeah, on it's, it's hidden it's behind it. It's, it's behind here. So the rear master cylinder needed a complete rebuild. The um, uh, rear brake calipers were also rebuilt. So all the cables on the bike were lubed. And then we went to the tires and, and removed the original factory tires, which I was kind of torn. I was thinking about um, leaving the original tires on them, but I figured if anybody wants to ride it, it's not really rideable with 36 year old tires on it. So we put these brand new uh, period correct the exact same size as the originals Bridgestone battle axis front and rear they literally have less than five miles on their brand new so brand new tires on it uh, we put a new set of grips on it so uh, then we ran it on the dyno it pulled 74.73 horsepower we changed the oil and the filter we installed a brand new battery in it we cleaned up the air box put a new brand, brand new air filter in it put new tail light bulbs on it and changed the final gear oil with mold tool synthetic so we did a compression test on it, it's 155 PSI across the board. Um, so indicating the motor is in essentially brand new condition. So then it went through the detail shop for a full top to bottom wash and wax detail, uh, an eight hour polishing and cleaning um, treatment. So it was thoroughly every square inch top to bottom before it was clean. So that pretty much summarizes everything that was done with the bike. Uh, if you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. We just sold another Seika 900 like this that was restored by a friend of ours, uh, Armin Rodriguez. It had 40, what was it 47,000 or 48,000 miles on it? I believe 46 to be exact. 46,000 miles on it, and it sold for, well, how much did that one sell? It was 4750, right? 4750 plus documentation fee. So five grand for one with 44,000 miles that, that looked really nice, but it was obviously had high miles okay. on it. Something worth noting that that was a restored example um, that had a, a aftermarket paint job. Right, it quite right. honestly didn't show as well as this original paint example. But, but what I was going to say is with 46,000 miles and all of the original engine components, it ran like brand new. <laughs> it did. So it's definitely a testament to, to what Yamaha has done yeah, with the, the Seika series. Oh, the quality of the, of the uh, Yamaha products never been in question. They're absolutely bulletproof. It's one of my, if not my favorite motorcycle. I've had a long history of uh, 
great success riding and racing Yamaha. All these number one plaques up here, every one of those that's mine came on racing Yamahas. They're just bulletproof, excellent motors. So there's really not much more else to say about this bike except for it's the finest 83 series Seika we've seen yet in the years, in the six years we've been here at the museum. Literally thousands of motorcycles have come through both at our shows. And it's certainly the finest. We videotaped every bike we bring through and, and uh, go ahead, search it. This is it. This it has an absolutely uh, no excuses. It, it, uh, again, I'm an AMCA judge. I'd give this bike 99 points. It's as close to original, brand new as you can stock, it, as you can get. And it's not a restored example. It's an original, just been massaged into the perfection. So good luck bidding on the bike. If you have any questions, call us 860-454-7024. Now, can we cover the blemishes on the bike? Can you try and pick out some um, of the... Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of patina on, on, the, on the back right here. There's a little scratch on the, on the back of the, of the tail fin. Um, there's a little discoloration on the uh, clear coating here, which is uh, what happens after 36 years. Just to be expected. The pipes are, um, have a tiny bit of uh, surface rust right here on, the, on this little um, spot right here. Uh, they've never been dropped. There's no scratches on them. The, bot, the side of the motor, this looks, look at, the, look at the frame rail here. This looks like it just came out of the factory. It's brand new. That's the original power coating. Stunning. Um, motor is beautiful. A uh, little bit of uh, uh, the aluminum. See this aluminum right here? This can be taken off and, 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 and uh, uh, polished so it looks like chrome, but I believe in leaving the motorcycle original. Um, that's what people look for. And, most collectors want an original bike, not one that's been uh, uh, prettified too much or polished where it wasn't originally polished. You could sand that down and re-clear coat it. There is a clear coating that, that I showed you that, that had some issues, both this right here and the uh, cover, this, the covers. Those could be re-clear -re coated very easily, but this is 100% original. Um, gas tank is in, is in uh, paint jobs in beautiful condition. There's no dents or dings on it. The front of the bike, looking for defects here, this side of the fairing is in excellent condition. There's one little um, spot right there. I'm not sure what that is. The original 36-year-old windscreen has a couple of scuffs in it. Those could be professionally polished out for sure um, with those headlight polishing kits. But, and there's also a little scratch right here and a tiny bubble on the original decal is lifting a little bit. That's how you know it's original. Yeah, this could be touched up easily. Uh, and there's a small blemish on the side of the gas tank right here, um, down at the bottom, which has been touched up. So that's about it. Uh, this side of the pipe um, is pristine. There's no rust anywhere on it, and it's in the chrome's in excellent condition. The rims are beautiful. The shocks look to be in, in new condition. Um, not much else to say other than this is the nicest one I've seen. Let's go take it for a test drive. Take it for a rip. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America.